Hello everyone, Johnny Hurricane here from GamersHeroes.com and why don't you sit back, relax, and let me tell you about Overkill's The Walking Dead. During our recent trip to E3, we were allowed to check out The Walking Dead behind closed doors. It was a four player demo. Me, one of my review editors, and a couple of the devs teamed up and took on a mission. For anyone who isn't sure what type of game this is, it is a first person shooter. It is a mission structured game, so it's not open. You select a mission, you go in, you go in with your team, get whatever you're looking for. Uh, for this instance, we were looking for a water purifier. For anyone who's getting Left 4 Dead vibes from this, that's pretty much the case. The only difference is there is no versus, and there's no special zombies, and you'll also be fighting humans, bandits, survivors, pretty much anyone that gets in your way. Now I do want to mention that we only got about 20 minutes, and this is still in beta, so there's a lot more to see. But from what we played, so far, thumbs up. You can 100% go in guns blazing if you want. You're not going to win, but you can do it. There's very limited ammo. Every time we looted a place, we'd get like five or seven bullets tops. But to make up for this, there's a variety of melee weapons to pick from. Bats, machetes, hammers. One of the guys even had a bow staff. So, I mean, there's tons to choose from, and that was just in this demo. My guess is there's going to be plenty of those to unlock. Not 100% sure, but that would be awesome. There are four characters to choose from, and each has their own kind of specialization. One of them's a brawler, good with melee weapons, high endurance. One of them's a sniper, obviously good with sniping. One of them's the medic, her special ability, she puts down a med pack, and you guys can heal off of it. And the last one is actually more of a stealth-based character. She can throw a smoke bomb, which you can get through the zombies without them seeing you, or use it to block human view. Now, these characters aren't stuck with their weapons. They can switch between them at the armory. So if you pick a guy that's got a baseball bat, but you would prefer a hammer, no problem, you can switch to that. If they've got a submachine gun and you'd like a sniper, again, no problem, switch to that. It's just that they excel at certain things. That doesn't mean you can't use what you want to use. Outside of weapons, there's also little tools you can bring. See right there, that was a toolkit. We brought a lockpick and wire cutters. There are a couple of toolkits that help you loot more, but the lockpicks unlock locks, obviously, and inside there you generally find ammo and meds, and the wire cutters help to make more paths. So if you're trapped, you could cut the path and you could escape that way. Now the tools did seem to only have one charge. I did cut through a fence with my wire cutters and the wire cutters disappeared. I don't know about the lockpicks because I didn't have those, but that would be my guess that all of them are only usable once. Permission. So now I'm gonna tell you about how the demo went for us. Like I said, it was me, one of my review editors, and two devs, and everything was going great. We were moving quietly, looting houses, taking zombies down with our melee weapons. We didn't even shoot, no noise whatsoever. Then we ran into some humans. So we kind of thought, you know, okay, let's, let's strategize. How do we want to do this? And we got a plan. And as soon as we were ready to move, a simple misclick, that's all it was. Flashbang goes off. All the guards are alerted, they're shooting, we're shooting, zombie hordes are coming in, they're attacking us, they're attacking them. It was a huge mess, and honestly, it was really fun. At this point, it was kind of like, okay, no more moving quietly, no more moving slowly. We started moving fast and loud. This is where we realized ammo is scarce. We ran out of ammo really quickly, and then we were in trouble. We fought valiantly, used our melee weapons, used our specials, used everything we had, but in the end, we failed. Of all the demos I played at E3, this was the one that gave me the biggest laugh and I had the most fun doing. It was kind of slow at first, but we were moving slow and methodically, enjoying the pace. Once everything hit the fan, all hell broke loose, that was when it got really exciting. After all was said and done, we were rewarded with a flashbang pin for our effort, Kind of a troll move, since that's what got us all killed. But, it was a good time overall. If any of you think that this sounds fun, you can check back November 6th for our full review, and then you'll be able to play it yourself. Later, Gators.